I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, right over there, and The Blackest Heart and The Lonesome Crown, published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I am going to be reviewing the first book in one of my favorite fantasy series of all time, and that's The Dragon Prince. Book number one in The Dragon Prince trilogy by Melanie Ron. Dragon Prince, The Star Scroll, Sunrunner's Fire. Those are the first three books in the first trilogy. The Dragon Star trilogy is over here, and I'm going to be reviewing each one of these books one at a time because I'm rereading them this summer and fall. As a special request to one of my uh, followers here on YouTube, they asked, hey, have you ever read these? And I'm like, yeah, I, I read these books. I mean, you can't be a fantasy fan if you have not read Melanie Ron. You just can't. It's an impossibility. And I've read these books. In fact, I bought book number one, The Dragon Prince, the very same day that I bought my first ever copy of The Dragon Bone Chair by Tad Williams. I bought them both on the same day and mainly because of the crazy good Michael Whalen paintings. Each one of these is illustrated by Michael Whalen. And Michael Whalen, as you know, is the grand master of fantasy artwork. And he also illustrated the Dragon Bone Chair series by Tad Williams, Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn. So I bought the, and, and I've been collecting these books as they've come out over the years. I think the first one came out in about 1986 or 87. And, uh, you know, 88, 89. I mean, these are, this is an older series, I'll be honest with you. Not a lot of the modern fantasy readers have read this series. One of the things that I'm going to be doing on this channel is I'm going to be reviewing not just the popular series of today, but I'm going to be going back and reviewing a lot of the classic fantasy of decades ago. And Melanie Ron was one of the classic fantasy authors of the late 80s, early 90s. <clears throat> and her tra Dragon Prince trilogy and her Dragon Star trilogy were on fire back then. They were one of the hot, talked about fantasies of all time back in those days. But not a lot of people really know about them now. So, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my best to make sure that people know about this stuff so they can find it and read it and see what classic fantasy really was like, like all about. And Melanie Ron, the Dragon Prince trilogy, let's get talking about it. I even wore my Prince shirt for the Dragon Prince trilogy. I think you probably figured that out. The Dragon Prince, there's a king. Now this takes place in kind of a, I always kind of pictured it as a Utah, if we're talking about world building first, let's just talk about that. Grand epic scale world building on the scale of like Elric, Conan, um, even Game of Thrones, if you want, all kind of blended together, but set in a world that I would compare to like the southwestern United States where, you know, the Utah Red Rock deserts, but you've also got the uh, Alpine Mountains of sort of Colorado kind of mixed in there. And it's kind of a blend of those two sort of landscapes together. So most of the first book takes place in the desert among Prince Zahiva's or King Zahiva's people. Now King Zahiva, he goes off to fight dragons. He goes off into the red rock cliffs because that's where the dragons live. And as a king, they just hunt dragons because the dragons are a nuisance. All right. And so they hunt dragons and it's a big deal to kill a dragon. And Prince and King Zahiva goes off with his retrone to go dragon hunting and he kills a he he goes fights a dragon he's killed him before but he goes to fight this one dragon and this dragon injures him really bad and he ends up going back to the castle and passing away now his son rohan who is is our protagonist throughout Rohan decides, I have to avenge my father. I have to go hunt this dragon down and kill it. 
to avenge my father and prove that I am a worthy successor to his throne. And so Prince Rohan, and you got to picture Prince Rohan, is like basically one of the things I like about Melanie Ron's books is all of her characters are described as the most amazingly beautiful people ever to walk the earth or planet of any fantasy ever written. And I think that's cool. And Michael Whalen does a great job of portraying this imagery on the covers. And so Prince Rohan is just the most dashingly handsome, muscular, athletic dude ever. And he goes out to slay this dragon and he's scared to death anyway. He's scared. He, he doesn't know if he can do it. Well, he gets in the fight with the dragon. He slays the dragon. These are all things that happen within the first 20 pages. So I'm not giving away spoilers. You know I don't do spoilers in the books. But I'm setting up the story here. He kills the dragon. He's kind of the hero. Every, all the other kings want him to marry their daughters to form an alliance in, this, uh, in the world-building part of this thing. And um, so that's the setup for the main plot. So there's this one king named Roel, Roelsta, Roelsta, I think it's Roelsta, Roelstra, Roelstra, yeah, that's it. He's got 17 daughters, and he's like, man, I can, I, can, I can marry at least one of these girls off to this Rohan guy and make an alliance, but he's kind of an evil dude. I mean, the alliance would not go well for anybody if it happened. And Lady Andrade, who's a Sunrunner witch, and the Sun Runners are sort of our magicians of this world. So people who are Sun Runners have the magic powers, right? And she's the Sun Runner witch, and she's like, I don't think we should marry, uh, I think we need to marry Rohan off to one of my Sun Runner witches. Which would be fine with Rohan, because he is smitten with one of the Sun Runner witches named Sioned. Sioned? In the, in the book, I just, I just went by Sioned. Sioned? It could be Sioned. It could be Siobhan. I have no clue how to pronounce. It's S-I-O-N-E-D. Sioned? Sioned? Siobhan? I, I don't know what it is. But she's one of the Sunrunner witches. And she is amazingly beautiful. Like, like everybody in these books is just like the most gorgeous person to walk on a planet, right? which is cool. I have no problem with that. Because this is like, not only is this his grand fantasy adventure, it's kind of like grand fantasy adventure mixed with high fantasy romance, kind of like you would get with Diana Gabaldon's Outlander. I mean, the, the romance, the melodrama, the soap opera-iness of those kind of things are kind of infused in this grand epic world the size of Game of Thrones but imagine Game of Thrones with all the action and dragons but like a lot lot more sort of you know HBO late night romance kind of stuff happening which I don't have a problem with it's one of the things that drew me to these books because they're different from a lot of the stuff I've read um I liked the romance part of it I loved the interplay between Rohan and Sioned or Sioned, or Siobhan, or whatever her name is, the most beautiful girl. I loved their relationship and how it's set up. I won't give away spoilers, but it's set up so that they can't really... They're, they're working... Together, they're working the court intrigues before they get married. They're using their sort of hidden proposal, their hidden... their fiancés, right? But they're not... They haven't really told anybody. And they're kind of using that to sort of work... All the other kings in the realm uh, who are vying to have his daughters marry, their daughters marry this Rohan, this great prince. And so it's just, it's like a lot of tangled webs of romance and intrigue. And, but don't let that throw you. If you're not into that kind of thing, please don't let that throw you, throw you. Because there's also a ton of fantasy action, knights, swordplay, dragons, horse racing, duels, betrayals, kidnappings. And that's giving away a little bit of a plot spoiler there. But kidnappings and 
This, this series, especially book one, goes in directions that I never expected a fantasy book to go to, into back then. Because remember, this is late 1980s, and fantasy was just sort of getting off the ground. People were, like, trying new things. And this was really sort of a groundbreaking new series at the time. It's kind of like a precursor almost to Game of Thrones in the amount of world building and characters that are there. There's a lot of characters. And not only that, but political intrigue and political just backstabbing and betrayals and kidnappings and duels and people just not getting along and never. And, and I'm telling you, Rohan and Sion are two heroes. They don't always act like heroes. They can be some selfish, you know, you, they can be some selfish brats like good-looking people can sometimes be. But I loved it. I thought it was great. The Dragon Prince, I just reread the first book. I just finished it earlier today. And these are hefty books. They're about five, 600 pages each. They're hefty books, dense, fantastic world building. Remember the landscape. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit southwestern deserty, um, you know, and I got to tell you, there's an evil, an evil character, Ianthe. You know, I told you about Roelster, the guy with the 17 daughters. Well, one of them, Ianthe, she's evil. She's evil. She shows up. She does evil stuff. She's a bad lady. And that's the thing. That's the setup. And the first book is damn near perfect for a fantasy novel. And I'm telling you, book two and book three of the trilogy magnificent and i'm going to be re -re reviewing book two here i'm going to i'm going to get to all of them because i want to do all six because they're that good and that important great great fantasies the dragon prince trilogy by melanie ron all of the all of the books illustrated covers by michael whalen and they are beautiful beautiful books to have in your collection i'm going to just pull some of these down I'm just going to show you the cover of that Dragon Prince right there. The cover of Sunrunner Fire. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at even the second trilogy. I mean, look at that painting. Look at that painting. These are great, great books. There's two trilogies, six books total. I suggest you look for them on Audible, Amazon, eBay, wherever you can find them and get these beautiful books for your collection because they are magnificent. And like I said, The Dragon Prince is number one. That's the one that I just reviewed. I give it 9.5 out of 10. These are some of the most solid fantasy books you will ever read. I promise you that. 